Show, and we're right here live at Art of Coffee and Kima for Monday with the Mayor. Yay! Okay, everybody, so our host uh, business today is the Art of Coffee, and so we've got one of the owners right here with us, Jimmy Sims. Woo Yay! Good morning. Okay, so um, Terry and I know that we, we both absolutely like love this place. This is my favorite coffee, coffee spot heaven. ever. It is coffee heaven. It's so much fun. If you've never been here, oh my gosh. I mean, so Jimmy, uh, first of all, tell everybody where you're located. All right. We're at 609 Bradford. Mm -hmm. uh, you can't miss us. The door has our huge logo on it. So we're at 609 Bradford in Kima, Texas. Yay. Yeah, come on. Yay. <laughs> Too, don't you? We do. We have um, two locations starting now. Uh, we have one in Lamarck uh -huh. and one in Laporte. Okay. Lamarck is being built up, finishing right now. But uh, we also have finished in the Clear Lake area. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, that is exciting. So you're going to have four locations yes. when those are done? Okay, so. And it uh, all started here. All That's started right. Right here. <laughs> Kima, was, Kima was the main one, which is the most important one because we've yes. been able to have a really good time. I mean, you not only have, um, well, you also are extremely talented at floral design. Yes. Which is, cr I mean, crazy. If you've never well, thank you. had <laughs> one of Jimmy's, I mean, anything from corsages to these huge floral designs for weddings, funerals, mm -hmm. of course. Thank um, you. But party, private parties, it is stunning. It is stunning. It's, it's crazy that you're located right here. And you're like, I'm, I'm telling you, probably one of the best in the country. Thank you. So very, very exciting. Maybe um, blush. You're welcome. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so, you know, first of all, what, you know, you had a, this thriving um, floral design business. Right. And then all of a sudden, um, how, how many years has Art of Coffee been open? In this Kima? is our, um, actually our fourth year. Wow. Yeah, four years. Um, what, what made you and Bill decide to say, hey, we're going to open a coffee shop with art. Yeah, with artwork from was, all kinds of different people. Well, it's really funny. Um, we started out by having a coffee bar in the, in the actual flower shop. And people would come every single day and they would sit with us and talk. And, you know, and I said, Bill, we need to put a coffee shop in Kima. Um, they're here every day drinking the good old coffee, so <laughs> yeah. let's make we some money off of them. That's yeah. right, start charging these start charging free letters. These free letters. <laughs> so, so we did, and you know, it's, it's, we're, Kima's a big family anyway. Mm -hmm. So, you know, when we started putting the coffee out there, it's just, we have people every day that comes in, and it's, that's what it is. We, we went on basis of giving back to the, the community, and it has blessed us greater than we blessed them, so. Trust me, it's been good. Yeah, it, it is. But but but, Mayor Terry, yeah. um, don't you think that um, you know one of one of the best things about walking into Art of Coffee mm -hmm. is just you walk in. It doesn't matter what you have on. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter, you know, um, about anything. What kind of mood you're in, right. if you're having a hard day, or if you're happy. You walk in and it's just this wonderful place to be where yeah. you can sit and yeah. sit by yourself or you can bring friends or whatever. But Oh, absolutely. You know? I've done that many times. Yeah. It's so comfortable. It's so um, just intoxicating to be around all of the artworks and, and the, the aroma of the coffee. And all there's always nice music being played here. So. Yeah, the, the soundtracks are pretty awesome here. Um, and I know another artist that might have a um, CD that you could actually play here. Yes. <laughs> Who might? <I> <laughs> hey. Okay. So um, you know what's great about when you when you opened a, a coffee shop, which coffee shops have that kind of feeling. It, it kind of started with friends, the friend show, where the coffee shop was the hangout, and mm -hmm. I think that's almost where it kind of made it very very popular mm -hmm. to have co really cute coffee shops. Well, what made you decide that y'all wanted to? be able to display artwork of local artists. I mean, because this is really a great thing to do, um, you know. Well, the whole concept of the entire place was to bring back the, the people here. Mm -hmm. And, you know, there's there's wall space all through it. So we decided that I love art. Mm -hmm. Why can't everyone else love art? And so there's so many talented people. 95% of the people is from well, they're all local. Yeah. So we brought these people in to sell their talent. 
with my talent. Yeah. And that was the most important part about the whole concept was bring the community back to mm -hmm. you know the coffee shop. Yeah. Yeah. And that's that's the gathering place. It's and, wonderful. And if you've ever been to us we're crazy people. Yeah. We all, all know That's why we all love you. Yeah. <laughs> no he was just that way. What you're gonna hear. So yeah, but but y'all, you know, what's what's great about Art of Coffee and about you and Bill is that you not only um, host local artists for people to come look at, and you can actually buy right off the wall, which is very cool. Yeah. Um, y'all open this to a lot of charities. You are very active in the Kima community. Mm -hmm. um, you know, giving back is always been a very huge part of Art of Coffee, which I think that is one, just one of the little reasons that the Kima community loves y'all and are so grateful that we and have we Art of Coffee here in Kima. We're very proud of that. Um, one of the things that you are actually spearheading this year yes. is the Christmas in Kima. And if you've never been to Christmas in Kima, it has been for years and years a really fun, fun family a weekend of um, oh my gosh celebration and music shopping experiences that really like the small town like you wish where you lived this is what Kima brings to you and everybody's yeah. invited mm -hmm. tell us a little bit about Christmas and Kima this year because you've got some awesome stuff planned we're so grateful that Jimmy's we planned. are well this year okay anything we do it has to have glitter glam and <laughs> Be fun. Yes. Yeah. So, <laughs> we are going to have bows on all the poles. We're going to have bringing snow. Santa is coming. <gasps> Yay! <Yes>. Santa! <laughs> Mrs. Claus is, is here, going to be here. Aww. We're going to have a cookie contest. Oh, no. That's fun. Absolutely. That's going to be cool. We're going to have so much. Um, the, some cars are coming in, antique cars, oh, wow. for the Christmas parade. We're gonna have a dog and golf cart parade. Yay! We're gonna have oh, a my snow dogs That's right. Parade. No, <laughs> I love it. Thank That's goodness. Right. <laughs> Fun things like that. There's gonna be live music here, singing. Mm -hmm. um, it's gonna be about our community. We're gonna like the tree this year with a little bit of. Not that we don't say that it hasn't been great every year, but it's, this year is gonna be out of this. Well, I, I know that the mayor and council are thrilled we to have are. Jimmy and Bill spearheading this event because, Terry, what do you think that the, well, all of the events are wonderful, but what do you think has been one of the most, one of the wonderful things about Christmas in Kima every year? Well, I think just bringing people together. Um, there are very few events that really bring the community together and focus on us and celebrating all that we have to be thankful for. and. That is probably the most special one of the year. Yeah, it, it is so much fun. I mean, some of my most fun memories, um, and I'm not even, I'm not from Kima, I'm the Houston area, I'm from Louisiana, and I, I do have very special memories there, but when my children were younger, and having the Christmas in Kima, and have the fire truck go down the streets Absolutely. with Santa, the, these things are things you dream about that you wish cities did and the small our smaller community just does it right mm -hmm. i mean it is it is yeah. a wonderful wonderful way to celebrate uh, the christmas holidays it's incredible mm -hmm. um okay so jimmy when does it start well it's on november the 23rd mm -hmm. and yes it's early we know but we want to be able to bring other cities to the like shores everybody around the area so we're not competing with their day as well so they can come to our day oh, we I can like go that. to their day yes it's early we know that but you all know that everyone on facebook is going to be posting trees on december 1st <laughs> yeah I mean, november or november 1st, 1st. <laughs> you know so we're good yeah. november 23rd we're going to bring santa before he gets too busy <laughs> and we're going to bring some snow in before he gets too busy that's right and have we're going to be the first to have fun that's why we put it on the day. I well, love a lot it. of people are out of town uh, for the Thanksgiving weekend, yeah. so having it that weekend Absolutely. kind of, you know, makes people miss out on all of the local fun. So put you in the holiday spirit. You yeah. Know. Absolutely. Yeah. I, you know, and, and uh, I, don't, I, I think that stores starting Christmas stuff yeah. in like September is way too early, but 
when it comes to Christmas and Kima, I love that it starts a little early because it, it really is so much fun to drive around and see everything, uh, all the decorations and everything. It makes you really excited. Um, okay, so Leslie um, Saldana said, this sounds fun. I need a list of events. Okay. Stop. So, yeah. Mayor, where are they going to be able to find a list of the events? Um, we're going to post that on our, on our We Love Kima uh, website uh, and Facebook page, and it'll be all over. We have several Facebook pages, actually, so there, there will be a detailed calendar of events, um, including the big tree lighting, which is really kind of the culmination um, of the, the whole weekend. I'm so excited. Yeah. Okay, so, Jimmy. Yes. Um, before we let you go, yeah. What do you think the best thing, or what is your favorite thing about having the art of coffee um, as a business in Kima? That's hard. Yeah. Uh, it's been um, good for us. We have people who come in and tell us about their grandbabies that are born, and you know we celebrate the good, the bad, the ugly right here with a cup of coffee. Um, this town has been through a lot. Uh, the community has been through a lot losing Mr. Reed and we were here through a hurricane where we brought coffee down to all the first responders. That's what it's about for us. It's not about being the most popular coffee shop in the area. It's about you guys and what we bring back to you tenfold comes back to us. So our appreciation for everyone here in the community Simply we could do is make you a cup of coffee. 95% of the people come in here, we fix coffee and it's usually no charge because we love people. And that's why we're here. Yeah. It's not about popularity, it's about you guys. And if I can hug your neck and hug your neck and Miss Hart's neck and that's what it's about. And you know, yeah. bring some cheer. Yeah, it, 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 it feels like family. As it soon is. as you walk in order coffee, it it's is. just that kind of feeling. Um, well, we are so proud that um, y'all were the host show uh, today. We're, we're so excited to bring uh, people more information about the Art of Coffee and everything wonderful that y'all do for our community. Yeah. Um, Art of Coffee is not just a cup of coffee. It is, <laughs> even though they have great coffee, but you do make it affordable. I'm telling you, that's what some people assume that all these um, you know, niche coffee shops are just so expensive. It's not, guys. It's just this wonderful place to come. Um, all kind of great coffees. And it is affordable, and you'll love it here. Thank you. So, yeah. Thank you, Jimmy. We love you, too. And seriously, thank you for all, all the yeah. things y'all do. Thank you so much. This is a cool thing. I, I love the fact that, Monday, you're bringing yourself, yourself, and with the, the local businesses. Because, you know, sometimes the whole community needs to see... We're here. Local businesses are our heartbeat. That's we work right. Hard and we appreciate this very much. That's guys. right. And we're, we're very proud of our community and our local businesses. Absolutely. So thank you so much for hosting. Thank you. Thank you. Awesome job. Awesome. Okay, guys. Well, we get uh, switch seats a little bit. Jimmy's going to go get some work done and yes. do some more modeling. He looks like he's modeling. Good. <laughs> I, 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 I need to take a lace at the moment. Yeah. <laughs> we are excited today because um, this is just Monday with the mayor. We're gonna find out some fun information that's going on in the city with Mayor Terry Gale, everybody. And there's Debbie. Hey, Debbie. Hi, I know, it's exciting. So um, thank you all for watching this morning. We're, we're so excited and I know it's bad weather outside, but we're comfy and cozy right here. And we hope you're safe today and having a, a blessed, wonderful day so far. So, okay, mayor. Yes. There is a lot happening. There is. It's, it's already the end, almost the end of October, which means Halloween stuff uh -huh. and fun events and, and some really fun things happening in Kima. And tell us about, we talked about this a while back, but if you've never been to Trunk or Treat mm -hmm. in Kima, you've got to be there because it is one of the, the most fun things that happens, really. Um, tell us a little bit about Trunk or Treat. Well, Trunk or Treat is going to be on the night of Halloween um, where every, anybody can attend and um, set up their car in the, the city parking lot with their trunk open and their treats available. And um, folks can bring their families and their kids can go from trunk to trunk. And it's, 
you know, it's really better, safer, and a much more of a community gathering than just having people go to individual houses. Yeah. And there will be some additional fun things to do for the kids, and um, our, our first responders, our police and fire department will be there, and city officials will be there just to celebrate and have some fun and see all the fun costumes and, you know, oftentimes Miss Kima or Miss Kima team, team will attend and, you know, it's it's just a great way to bring everybody together and have a little fun, uh, scary fun. On <laughs> yeah, scary fun. Well, the, the wonderful thing about Trunk or Treat is that, you know, so many parents with younger children, mm -hmm. you don't really know where to go anymore. Right. Where you feel safe, uh -huh. where, um, you know, especially if it's not in your neighborhood. Um, Trunk or Treat is... It, it has gotten bigger every year, it and it's so much fun. People bring games, treats. Mm -hmm. um, they decorate the trunks of their car sometime, oh, yeah. and, and they have a costume contest for the yes. kids. Yes. But you can meet the local police and the fire department, and it is wonderful. Mm -hmm. Make plans to bring your children out to Trunk or Treat. And if you're an adult, I love going to Trunk or Treat. <laughs> Me too. So it's it's so much fun. Okay, so in now. addition to that, too, the boardwalk has some really fun uh, holiday, um, Halloween, uh, events as well. They've always got Boo on the Boardwalk and of course that features the Dungeon of Doom. Yeah. Uh, I've been through the Dungeon of Doom a few times. I will not go in scary. that. It's yeah, pretty uh -uh. scary. It's pretty scary. So, uh, <laughs> and they have some special events like they've had the Witches Night Out and the Zombie Party was this weekend and you know there's something special each weekend. So, so, so creative. Yeah. Um, but it really it encourages people bring their kids out and have some additional fun yeah. know, on the boardwalk. It, it, it is wonderful. The boardwalk and the city of Kima do some really fun things for around this time of year. So check it out. Mm -hmm. You can go to the boardwalk website, you can go to the city of Kima website or Facebook page, uh -huh. get all the information. Come on, we've got people that come from different states oh, yeah. to come in for the events in Kima. So it's really, really fun. Okay, so this is a big one. Uh -huh. Salute to military uh -huh. um, and also sailing angels. Uh -huh. Now this event has been going on for, for a while. Right. Um, it is really 10, ten already. Uh -huh. Wow. I remember being in one of the fashion shows for the very first salute to military wow. thing they did that helped raise money to go toward the military um, families. Mm -hmm. And so this is very special event. Um, tell us a little bit about this. Well, it starts on Friday, and it's really a salute. Wait, to Friday what? Friday, November first. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> um, any Friday. No. Um, uh, it, it, the, the events really start on Friday, November 1st, and it's <clears throat> meant to be a salute to both the military and our first responders. And in fact, this year there's a special tribute to Chief Reed. It's wonderful. Um, and um, I'm privileged enough to be uh, riding in a Huey helicopter from Ellington Field with Jana Reed, his widow, um, to uh, the boardwalk. And we'll, we'll be here for when the um, military heroes come through at nine, um, you know, and, and parade through Kima. Yeah. And um, there are some other events um, that night at the, at the lodge. And then uh, the following day, Sailing Angels will be taking out, um, they've got, I think, 40 boats. And uh, over wow. 300 people signed up to both support as crew as well as um, military and first responders who will be riding on the boats beginning at 10 a.m. They're going to come through um, the the Kima Channel, and um, you know people will be there to greet them and cheer them on, et cetera. And then they're going to go out and for a sailboat ride and uh, spectate. GBCA is running a, a sailing regatta that day, and they're going to so be spectating, and then come back in, and then there's a dinner that night. So it's just a a, a fantastic weekend of celebration of all that our military and first responders do for us. Yeah. And, and you know for us to be able to express our gratitude in the small way we can for all they do yeah and if you if you don't if you're not familiar with um salute to military um all of all everything they bring in families of military and active military and mm -hmm. yeah, and, and it's all free mm -hmm. everything's paid for for these right. families it's really a huge yes. wonderful thing that the city and the boardwalk put on so um find out about that because you will love to come see it they have all kind of helicopters and planes and things that you can actually come see mm -hmm. it's very cool the kids love it okay so the heart walk yeah um when is the heart walk 
because that's Sat fun. Yeah, it's Saturday, November 9th, and I'm, yeah, I'm trying to recruit people for my team. So uh, there's a every year the mayors of each city kind of throw down a challenge to each other to try to recruit, you know, who who can raise the most money. But it really it's about getting out and, and uh, fundraising and contributing to uh, the American Heart Association. Yeah. And um, so I'll be out there with my dog Lobo. Good. Uh, Lobo's going to do the heart walk <laughs> with me. Oh, I love it. Um, he didn't pony, pony up any money or bones or anything yet, but <laughs> I'm working on that. But okay, so so. <laughs> So if people want to do the heart walk, it's open to everybody. Yes, it How is. do they find out more? Um, they can go up. to uh, the website, um, which is www.heart.org, and look for the We Love Kima team to sign up as part of, and uh, come out and walk with us, or or um, or run if you'd rather. Um, I'll be walking. <laughs> yeah, okay, so I'm a walker. I'm not a runner, and I'm real upfront about that. <laughs> She's going uh, participating. Oh yeah, Who? and Sergeant Anna Tinge from our police department oh. is going to be participating in her full uniform. Oh, I love that. That's yeah. so much fun. Okay, so um, Leslie Saldana said, let's do the dungeon with the mayor day. Oh. Leslie, that sounds so much fun. Okay, <laughs> I, I, I'm going to get that scheduled. I love it. <laughs> okay, let's, let's scare the mayor. I like that concept. <laughs> yeah, scare the mayor. I like sounds that. Sounds like a Dr. Seuss book. <laughs> <laughs> it does. That's hilarious. Okay, so we talked a little bit about Christmas and Kima. Mm -hmm. And um, it starts November the 23rd. Oh, I'm so excited about it. We this. cannot wait. So this is a great way to kick off the holidays completely. Yes. So it's before Thanksgiving, uh -huh. which makes it really fun. Right. You know, because if you're going out of town, you can make some of these. It makes it really nice. Right. Um, It'll be a fabulous event. And I'm so grateful to Jimmy and Bill for all they're doing to so plan it and it, orchestrate it. It yeah, will be it's extra wonderful. special this year. So what days is Christmas in Kima? Is it just November 23rd or yes. it's the whole weekend? No, it's, it's just November 23rd. Okay. So it's shopping. But it's all day. It's all day. Shopping, the snow, the parade, Santa, the parade, music. the music, and then the tree lighting. Yeah. And Night, which is phenomenal so right. you want to come to this it's, it's open to everybody yeah, um, okay so the Kima Village HOA uh -huh. um, they're gonna have a meeting tonight okay as a matter of fact yeah I, they've invited me to attend um, I was actually also uh, invited to attend um, one of the HOA meetings in South Kima on Saturday night so uh, was able to spend some time at, um, at Joe and Joanne Wilson's house with uh, the folks that that are in that HOA as well and um, just update them on what's going on and hear what they're concerned about. We have a lot of concerns about, um, you know, drainage, public safety, um, speed bumps. They need another light on, uh, or uh, another stop sign on yeah. Lawrence Road. So we, we'll be working with League City to try to get that done. Wonderful. Um, have heard a lot of good feedback about all of the, the work that our public uh, works uh, team accomplished late this summer in trenching out the ditches and what a good uh, impact that made on uh, when we got such heavy rain that things were able to drain uh, better so we're making some good progress there and uh, hope uh, tonight's I think d tonight's discussion will center a lot about the the new turn lane that's going in uh, into Kima Village to allow them a, an additional entrance westbound. Oh my gosh, without thank having goodness. To do the U-turn. The, the U-turn, yeah. Right. And then tomorrow night we'll be meeting with uh, the Kima Oaks um, HOA team to update them on a few of the issues, uh, the drainage plan in particular, but also uh, we've had some ongoing discussions with Centerpoint um, about their the maintenance of the right of way right behind the eastern side of Kima Oaks. So Centerpoint's actually coming to the meeting right. to um, talk directly with the homeowners, and I'm really excited that we've been able to accomplish that. Uh, yeah. Centerpoint's been terrific in their uh, response, and their community their community relations rep has has really been responsive to us to help us get these issues resolved. Yeah, that's right. So if, if you live in Kima Oaks, make sure you go to the meeting tomorrow night at 6.30 at the Pavilion because right. Centerpoint will be there and you can ask questions right. to them directly. Right. That's a huge deal. Yeah. There's no, hi, I'm on hold. Right. No, they're going to be there tomorrow. Yeah, and you, that's right. You can two, talk to them. Two people from Centerpoint <laughs> will be there. That's wonderful. Great yeah. job on that. Thanks. Okay, so we talked a little bit about drainage, uh -huh. but is there anything on the, you know, because it is, it is still hurricane season, so we've got some storms, and like today, it was storming horribly. Uh -huh. um, what about the drainage in the city? Are there any projects ongoing or future projects you want to talk about? There are definitely going to be some future projects. We're uh, we're just finishing up our, our master drainage plan for all of Kima, where we'll get an idea of how everything will work together, because in the past, the studies have been very 
you know, targeted for individual areas and not looked comprehensively at the whole. Yeah. And we're also going to be dovetailing our plan in with the county's plan and the, the neighboring cities because we know, for example, that um, some of our drainage issues surrounds Jarbo Ditch, which drains into Jarbo Bayou, which is in Clear Lake Shores, drains into Clear Lake, which is Gosh. receiving runoff from Clear Creek. So yeah. it, it all actually ties in together <clears throat> in a pretty significant way. And that's why everybody's doing our master drainage plans so we, we can look at this cohesively. Um, when, we, when we talk about the um, upcoming vote, um, there are some important pieces of legislation, um, some important measures um, that are gonna be um, surrounding flood infrastructure and funding for projects like that from the state, you know, grants and such that yeah. we can be eligible for. But also we're gonna be working actively with the county once we get our list of projects to dovetail in with their um, projects and their funding source. And I've already talked to the county commissioners about that. Oh, that's wonderful. Great, great job. It's, it's always good to get an update on city projects like that. Um, okay, so election day is yes. coming up. Early voting started today. Early voting started today. So if you are in the Kima area, go to where? Um, I'm guessing community center. The community uh, not, center? I am not sure, but okay. uh, um, you can check the uh, Galveston Votes org website okay. and it will tell you it will not only tell you where your voting location is you you, you type in your name your yeah. birthday and you get also your sample ballot so yeah. oh, if there are lo any local elections or anything you can see exactly what's on your ballot to vote oh for. great okay because this is not a city election guys this right. is a county or well, state it, yeah county state um, and some of the other neighboring oh cities. wow okay okay so that's real important so if you get a chance to go early vote go yes um, but election day um, for all these things is November the 5th Tuesday, November 5th okay. and it is really important to remember one thing which is there's some tricky language on these ballots uh, particularly um, I think it's proposition uh, the fourth proposition um, surrounding uh, state income tax that um, you want to read those carefully because um, what you want may not be intuitive from the way that the ballot is, is worded. Yeah, exactly. And if you have questions okay. about something, because you just said that you can, when you go online to look it up, yeah. you can actually get a sample ballot. And if yes. you read something that you're not sure of, what should people do? They can either call the county or call, there are some FAQs, frequently asked questions available on the website. Um, but wonderful. usually the county uh, registrar will, will be the best way to get those questions answered. Okay, that is really good. Um, okay, so uh, first of all, my parents said, what a great mayor, really getting oh, things done. Yay! So That's right, she's getting a lot done. Okay, so legislation. Uh -huh. Tell us what what's going on with that, whatever you're doing. Well, um, so there was some important legislation that passed. Um, the state uh -huh. had its, you know, uh, biannual session and passed, put in place some important legislation at the beginning of September. There were a lot of bills on it that affected a number of things, but you know some of the things that um, were put in place were um, restrictions on open communications for public officials, as well as new ways to think about um, economic development and ways that we can use our economic development funds. So um, I was able to attend the Texas Municipal League uh, a Saturday session, as well as just came back from their conference and learned some things. Um, about those those pieces of legislation as well as you know just things that are, are a little more niche to certain areas um, um, there were also some things that affected for example the building materials in the building codes that um, that cities use to regulate how building gets done so a, a lot of important measures were passed and I was really grateful to be able to attend these sessions and, and learn more about those yeah that, that is interesting and it's, it's nice to know that you'll always stay um, abreast of everything new that's happening and really important things that, uh -huh. you know, the cities and residents and businesses deal with. We have a terrific staff. Um, yeah. Walter Band, our police chief and city administrator, as well as uh, Nick Haby, our uh, director of community service and public works, really, really work hard to stay abreast of, of what's happening. Yeah, it's, it's wonderful. Okay, so important voting topics. Uh -huh. What is that? Um, well, those are the, that's what I mentioned before about making sure, particularly on that fourth uh, amendment voting uh, around the personal income tax, as well as I think it's number two and number eight for um, the TWBD 
TWDB, Texas Water Development Board, has some uh, funding mechanisms that they want to put in place to help support not only water and wastewater, but stormwater management, which does affect our flooding, yeah. um, in, impacts our ability to get funding for flooding projects, flood prevention projects. And then uh, Proposition 8, I think it is, is um, the one uh, that's actually uh, around flood infrastructure. So those are gonna be very important, and, and flooding is and drainage are key topics all across the state. So Absolutely. Um, I have my own opinions on this, but be sure you read those pieces of legislation uh, on the ballot and you know make sure you're educated on what you're voting on. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so if people wanna find out more about what's happening in the city, events mm -hmm. to bring their family to or attend, uh -huh. where do they go? Well, um, first of all, I have a newsletter coming out, and uh, it will be out before the end of the month, hopefully, um, maybe even by the end of the week. Okay, awesome. Um, and um, thanks to Debbie, my communications and marketing director, she's been, she's been doing a great job. Of, of is so amazing. <laughs> Yay, Debbie. And she's also been uh, um, instrumental in putting a lot of information out there on social media. We're trying to make some improvements to the content on our website. And so we'll be, you'll see some improvements uh, there and some additional pieces of communication and vehicles for communication coming out on the website um, probably in the next few weeks. And um, those are the main things. You know, our, our Facebook pages, we have several, we have the City of Kima Facebook page, We Love Kima. And then, of course, we have our main website and our tourism website. Yeah. Okay, so you can, there's lots of places for you to find out where, um, where to go for the holidays, what to do, right. and how to find out important information if you're a, a Kima resident or business. Uh -huh. And about the voting that's about to start happening. Well, that's happening today. Right. Um, and about Election Day. But, Mayor, we're so excited you were with us today. This was so fun. Yeah. Okay, so before we let you go, uh -huh. Um, if you were a superhero, what would you be and what would your name be called? So I can't be one that... that no, would, now you have to make one up. Ooh, wow. Or what would you wear? Maybe I should say that. What would your name be and what would you wear? You know, the superheroes <laughs> tend, to, tend to dress a little skimpy. And I'm a little more conservative than that. So I'm going to be the, the jeans wearing superhero. Yeah. Because I love my jeans. And around this time, I love my boots. So. Okay, so, so jeans and boots. jeans and boots. Genie? Oh, no, that's, that's pretty lame. I don't know. I don't know. you, you got to prepare me better for these questions. <laughs> okay, will you think on that? I will. All we know is that your outfit will include jeans and boots. Yeah, wonder, wonder jeans and boots. Wonder Woman's turquoise bracelets. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching Monday with the Mayor today. You can catch the Kelly Williams Show every week and we hope you have a blessed and wonderful day and stay dry out there we'll see you next time on the kelly bean show and monday with the mayor bye